Yo, what is up YouTube, it's your boy Ruckus here, bringing you an in-depth guide on how to beat the unnamed puppet. Probably one of the hardest bosses, no, nah, definitely the hardest boss in the game, because you can't really use throwables or anything like that. And you kind of have to parry everything and be almost perfect. But with this, this is going to be an easy way on how to cheese him. So I'm just going to show you the build real quick. First off, our weapon we are going to be using is the Trident of the Covenant. Now, this, uh, I have it specced into Technique because that's what my light build's based off, and I'll show you my skill points. Here's what I have my points put into. So back to the weapon, it is the Trident of the Covenant, which is what you get from the Archbishop. After you defeat him, you just trade his Ergo for this. And we're just using this because it has nice poke damage while using our shield, and it has pretty good stagger. Our second most important thing we have is our shield legion arm this thing is basically what the whole builds around so all we're doing is holding our block so with these two things combined you will need to level a lot up to level two we're just going to be blocking i'll just wait till he's there we're going to be blocking and poking over the top of our shield which is what lets us uh kind of negate the second half of the fight so we're just poking over our shield and this is insane because you can just block all damage incoming while hitting. So we're going to use the shield on the second tier, I believe it is, is when you unlock the being able to hit over the top. You could use other stuff, uh, other weapons, but this is the best one I've found. Now for amulets, our uh, first one we're going to be using is the blue guardianship. This uh, just increases our health and stamina, which is always good. But it also increases the legion capacity, which is it's what's going to allow us to hold this out for even longer and block even more hit. Second is the increased weight limit, the carrier's amulet, which is just a big help in reducing weight when we're using all the stuff that we have equipped. Third is the veteran's amulet. This one's probably one of the most important we have. Again, just like this one. It increases our legion, which allows us to use it longer. Last but not least, we have increased stamina again. Stamina is super important. It's what's going to be allowing us to attack and not let us get broken and kind of just stand still. Blue Guardianship you can buy from the Butler. Carrier's Amulet, I believe, is behind a door, a Trinity Key door in the Kraut Station. Veteran Amulet, I think, is in the last place just before you fight the Door Guardian. It's in a chest on the bridge. Or after you fight the door guardian and the leaping amulet is right before you fight simon there's that boxing dude that gives you uh disruption at the bottom of his staircase there is a chest which has this amulet in it and for all our defense parts i just had it as max physical damage reduction as i could and that's basically the build probably the most important thing with this is going to be how you spend your quartz and what p organs you unlock so you're def you're gonna want stuff like well, obviously you want your pulse cells but uh the enhanced guard regain recovery uh, that we have on this the first option and retain guard regain is also the uh you're going to be looking for all the stuff that you can spec into to do with the uh, guard regain so we have the lowers guard regain reduction and we have the enhanced gain regain recovery. So this is going to be, as you can see in this picture, when you get hit while blocking, you have the health bar. You can fill up by hitting again. So this is going to increase the amount of health we get back when hitting. And also, we want to be putting our points into, into stuff like our Legion magazine effect. So we want to enhance our Legion magazine so we can get it bigger and bigger. And then the rest of it is up to you. I'd probably put it into survivability just because it's going to be tough. But most important is Legion and the guard regain. I'm just going to quickly show you, as you can see down the bottom on our shield, with that, without the amulet, our shield would be quite a bit lower. But with the amulet, it extends it. As you can see, that whole bar right there is with the amulet. And if I take off the two that increases it, this will be the size without the amulet. So they're pretty important for this build. Definitely try and get them if you can. Now I'm just going to show you the fight I was doing on my series of this and kind of talk through what I was doing. Also, just another thing before we get into this, it he is a puppet, which means he's weak to electric. So 
before entering the fight i did enhance my blade with the electric grindstone and also you want to bring in the the scrap that allows you to instantly repair your weapon because you're not going to have time to do this as you can see i'm blocking and it's leaving this red translucent by and every time i hit it it's filling them up filling it back up as long as you don't get hit again uh you will be able to just keep doing that in this stage but you also want to learn his timing for this first part you don't really want to be using your shield you kind of want to be saving it for the second part if you spec even harder into the shield in like new game plus i believe you'll be able to use the shield in both but as you can see i'm just blocking a lot of blocking and using that extra heal we get back from the guard regain to get heal And then as soon as I see the stagger, we just uh, charge up our weapon and get the stagger off on him. And again, just blocking and letting that heal come up. Now this is the most annoying side. Basically, I'm just grinding my weapon, fixing it. And now we're just blocking, holding the block. And as you can see, we've, we've still got that translucent bar that we just need to hit him. And as you can see, we're full half again while blocking. Let him attack. Block. Hit him. Hit him. And we just spam hitting him. Come on. This one, he's going to hit you, but it's fine because you can just get up and heal. Just heal up. And then we just want to try and get back to blocking and then poking. This is very cheese. As you can see, he's stunned. I did, I wouldn't recommend risking a charge shot there, but just keep poking over the shield. I was also using the Legion um, reload uh, things. Uh-oh, we just need to get this half off. Please. In a game there, I almost died just from being silly please, and please, not please, blocking please. and holding out my stuff. But back to blocking. We're going to use that guard regain to get our half back instead of wasting our heals. And just poking while he's doing that. We were, The whole time he was doing those moves, we were hitting him. And then we get our stagger off. Come on. And this part, you don't want to get too overzealous. He does damage, explode after you stagger really him, which I didn't know at this, oh my God. At this time. I did not know you done that. But yeah, you're just you're just standing there blocking while Come he's on. just spam hitting. Woo! So Finally. I did. That's it. basically all you want to do. The shield that definitely makes this fight a lot easier than it than it should be. But that's how you're gonna beat him very easy with a lot of cheese. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and peace.